Hey guys, so I wanted to share with you guys just some really quick and easy ways that you can save water. Um, the first, the first uh, means uh, is in the shower. So in your shower, you're gonna have different kinds of shower heads. Um, the different shower heads are gonna do diff do more to either regulate the flow of water or you know whatever. So I mean, obviously you can change out your shower heads, but I mean that's gonna cost a little bit of money. It's not really gonna be that gonna be that expensive, relatively cheap. But that's not really what I'm talking about either. And then another issue that you have is the pipe that come that brings the water into your shower. Um, depending on the size that that is, is, is depending on your water pressure and that kind of stuff. So um, not everybody can control um, that, especially like if you're in a rental. These are issues you really can't can't fix. Now, if you're building your own house, you can probably figure out your own um, how fast you want the water to come out. But the, the problem is, is if you start messing with that kind of stuff, you're going to have, um, well, it's just not going to be pretty. So um, pretend like those things don't matter because they don't. You know, sometimes people will give you these real elaborate, expensive ways to save water. This is a really, really quick, easy way, okay? When you get into the shower, turn it on, get yourself wet as fast as you can. Your hair, your, your you know, underarms and parts that, you know, um, the water might not get to so well. This should only take you about tops of 20 seconds to get your whole body wet. Obviously, if you have more hair, it's that's gonna um, that's gonna drive that time up. But your typical guy who's more or less bald, <laughs> um, uh, it, you know, it, this shouldn't take you that long. You just get in, you get wet as fast as you can. Then you turn it off, and you're gonna have a little bit of dribbles that are coming out, you know, from the shower being off or whatever. Just get your soap, get them wet in those dribbles really quick. Wash yourself, wipe yourself down, you know, like as well as you can with the soap and all that. Wash yourself off. This shower will save you gallons and gallons and gallons of water. And um, you don't have to change out your shower heads. You don't have to worry about what size of, of pipes you have to bring your water in. None, none of that nonsense. Um, it, it doesn't matter. You don't have to, you know, be a carpenter or anything. This is a really, really simple way to do that. And you'll save time uh, in your shower. So that's good. You'll save more time. And then uh, it'll also uh, cut down on your, on your utility bill because your water heater won't be having to um, work so hard. Uh, so there's that. Uh, and also that, you know, less wear and tear on the um, on the water heater itself. Uh, the bad side is that it can sometimes cause your shower to get a little bit um, grimy from the buildup. So you're going to have to clean probably, you know, I don't know if you have a weekly schedule or not, but you might want to start thinking about that. Um, but different soaps are going to leave different amounts of grime. And uh, you can still find ways to perfect it. You can do a quick rinse, rinse down of the shower, you know, uh, before you turn it off. There, there's ways to get around it. Um, also, here's just another way is reusing water. So, like, let's say, for instance, you're cleaning out your bathtub. So you stop it up and you put water in there with bleach and you're wiping down, down your bathtub or, you know, however you clean it. Um, then some, find some way to clean it, to hold onto that water so it doesn't go down the drain. You can, like I said, putting in the plug. And you can use that same water to clean up your sink or your toilet or whatever. And it's a good way to reuse the water um, where instead of just having this, having to redraw water every single time. Um, another way, um, so it is to do with more of sinks themselves. Now, sinks... Um, Typically, we don't really pay attention. We turn it on all the way. If especially it's got one of the bars like this, you know, you flick it on all the way and then you flick it off when you're done. You don't really think about it. But a lot of water goes to waste when you're doing that. You turn on the water, it's going down the drain really rapidly, and you're washing your hands like this while the water's going down. There's a much better way to do that. Um, if you have a wet soap, um, like a, like a, you know, the foam soap, you don't even have to get your hands wet first. You can do that. Do for at least 15 seconds. Rinse, rinse it off. You're good. Um, if you have a dry soap, like a bar of soap, for instance, um, you can get a, a, a something to put it on there, and then just quickly get your hands wet, turn it back off, uh, turn it back off, and, and rub your hands down. Um, this is a good way to keep the water from just running in the background, and you can still clean your hands off. Um, uh, another way you can do it is you can get these. If it's just going to cost you a couple bucks, but you can get these stoppers that go onto your um, faucet head. Um, depending on what kind of faucet you have. Not all faucets are, are compatible. And it will actually reduce the flow of the water. Um, another thing is, like, especially if you have kids, um, you can turn the, um, the, on the, okay, so under your sink, I'm just going to use real simple terms just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Under your sink, there's going to be these two hoses that go up into your faucet. There's going to be one with a red handle and one with a blue handle, or some, just a different variation of that. And you can turn those a little bit where it stops up the water a little bit. So even if somebody turns on the water the whole way, it won't 
come out real strong. Um, this is a real quick and easy way that you can reduce the water consumption, especially because, you know, like kids like to have the water going and they don't really think about it. They turn it on all the way because it's on or off, you know, it's, and you, you can sit there and explain it to them, but kids don't learn the first time anyways. So a real quick, easy way to save yourself water is to just turn those, turn those, uh, for instance, in, in my kids' bathroom, I have the hot water line turned completely off. Um, and the reason for that is because they're just going to burn their hands anyways. Um, and, you know, kids will sometimes go into the bathroom without you knowing and without you wanting them to be in the bathroom. And they'll start messing with stuff and burning their hands and so on. So this is actually a really good way um, to keep them from burning their, their hands, to keep them from using up a whole bunch of water. Um, or if, if something happens where your kids wake up, like, at some ungodly hour of the morning, like 4 in the morning, not that a toddler would ever wake up that early, and go into the bathroom and start doing things, um, and you don't wake up right off, I mean, this is a great way to do that. I mean, obviously there's things like door locks and those kinds of things, but um, gates and that kind of stuff, but still, um, it's, just a, it's just a good safety, um, safety net. Um, another way um, is when you're doing dishes. Now, if you have a, uh, a dishwasher, um, it, if it's an older unit, you can switch them out for newer, um, uh, newer units that use a very small amount of water, um, comparable to hand washing. Um, in fact, in many cases, better than hand washing. Now, that's going to be a little bit expensive. You can't afford that. Understandable. Um, one thing that you could do uh, is to not use the dishwasher um, unless a little bit. Obviously, if you just stop using it in total, you're going to have you know problems with the water line maybe getting clogged depending on how your water is or whatnot, um, and it's just not good for technology to just be sitting there. So, anyways, um, but a good way that you can you can do it is to fill up one side of your sink, kitchen sink, uh, with the soapy water, and then the other side with j just clean water, and then uh, pref preferably both of them hot, but you know, different people have different preferences. Um, and then you go and wash them and rinse them and that. So that way, rather than, this is what people do a lot of times. They fill up their hot water, soapy water, and they just let it sit there. Well, obviously, they forget to get to it. They get busy, whatever. The water goes bad, they have to drain it and start all over again or whatever. Um, so first off, make sure that you don't fill up your sink until you're ready. And then second off, you don't have to fill it to the tippy top of the brink. Um, this is just a, a real easy way that you can save water. Instead of filling it this much, fill it this much, and then just don't put all the dishes in at one time. Um, and then for the other side, you just put in your water. So instead of having your water just running while you're rinsing the dishes under it, which wastes a massive amount of water, you can just and you're done. And you save water and it's just, it's better all around. Um, so these are just really quick and easy, cheap ways of saving water. And here's the thing, when you save water, you're not just helping up the planet or if you live in a desert, um, that, you know, obviously that whole issue there. Um, but you're also saving on your utility bills. Um, I mean, you don't have to be a, a tree hugger or anything to, to appreciate um, that. I mean, doing a, a little easy easy thing that may be a minor inconvenience, but nothing in a major way. I mean, I, I know it's very common to take like 30 minute showers. Um, so you're saving your time, you're saving your money, uh, you're saving water. I mean, it, it's really a win situation. Um, it seems to me at least, you know, worth a try. So I hope that this was helpful and that it gave you something to something to work towards, maybe something you didn't think about. Really simple, easy ways that you can save, uh, save money and save time and save water uh, really with zero effort. So, okay, see ya.